This is a satellite image showing the core zone in red and the buffer zone in yellow of the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve. The labels show where we're going to fly looking at various colonies and then a second flight will show where the deforestation is occurring in the whole area. Here our pilot, Dave Kunkel, working with Dan, our GIS experts, are plotting our courses over which we're going to fly using a GPS unit. The plane that Dave has provided for us is a MOL single engine aircraft that is ideal for flying in this complex mountain terrain at high altitude. Here we go. The first colony that we'll see is in the southern part of the Sierra Campanario. It's the Aparizio colony, which is small, about a little over a half a hectare in size. The second colony that we're going to see is La Mesa. It's about half the size of Aparizio, and to get to it we have to bank to the right across a major illegal logging operation. A bit further north in the Sierra Campanario, we encounter the Rosario colony. This is the largest and in past years has been up to five hectares or a quarter of a billion butterflies. Our next flight is to the southeast of the Biosphere Reserve in the state of Mexico and the Harada colony is again small, about 0.2 hectares in size. Logging has long occurred in the region of the Biosphere Reserve. This led to the 1986 and then the 2000 presidential decrees that protected the forests. However, illegal logging has not stopped and has actually accelerated in the last few years and as we shall now see is threatening virtually all of the butterfly overwintering areas. Between March 04 and March 06 one of the ajitos in the southern part of the Sierra Campanario has had a major illegal operation in which they have logged out over 130 hectares of forest inside the biosphere reserve. Immediately southwest of the Rosario colony, there has been a major logging operation over the past three years which has eliminated 390 hectares of forest. This involves the uh, ajito of Francisco Serrato and, and three other ajitos. And they have stripped the forest of the pine and oyamel trees and in several areas actually burned up what was left after the logging operation so that the area is seriously devastated on a very large scale. Looking directly north out of this area we spotted one of the illegal logging trucks coming up from the area of Ocampo and Rosario. When one is visiting the Rosario colony, if you look directly southwest, you will see two sister mountains called Cerro Chiavati and Cerro Huacal. These had um, monarch colonies on them for several years until they were cut and burned over several year period. And then another major fire occurred in the area in 1998, which actually burned uh, 312 hectares.
flying immediately north of Chiavatiwakal, we see that one of the uh, ajitos, El Paso, has managed to preserve its forest. And this contrasts with the surrounding area and shows you what it was and what it is and what it could be. In the southern part of the Biosphere Reserve is a massive volcanic mountain known as Cerro Pilon. This is about 3,400 meters high and on the south side has a, a relatively uh, healthy forest. Much to our disappointment, in October 2005 we discovered a new logging operation just above the yellow field to the left, which is called the Llanos of the Three Governors. As you look down here, the light green trees are pine, the dark green are oyamels, and the yellowish trees are cedars and the cedars have come in after a fire in the past. And if we continue along this uh, south facing slope at the head of a, an arroyo called Ojo de Agua we will shortly see a very small colony uh, which was about 0 0.08 hectares in size. Continuing to fly around on the northwest side of Cerro Pelon, we see that the area is, has been devastated over the past 10 years or so by sustained horse logging in the area. Uh, individuals go up with horses, cut trees with chainsaws, and carry them out. And then continuing around to the north and eastward, we will see that this mountain has been totally devastated over the years by major forest fires and logging. And the area where this logging and burning has occurred used to have major overwintering colonies. And now the area uh, is completely scalped and is totally unfit for the butterflies. To the north of Cerro Pelon in the Sierra Chinqua, Illegal loggers stripped out 18 hectares of Oyamel forest from inside the core zone on the north side of the Sierra Chinqua Massif. Continuing our flight westward, we uh, fly over the Arroyo Honda, and then in the distance is El Zapatero watershed. And in this general area, monarchs have formed colonies here every year going back to 1977. We're standing on this beautiful overlook that overlooks the Arroyo Honda and just to the right is the uh, Llanos of the, of the uh, Taros, the Llanos of the Bulls. That's where we met Professor Urquhart in 1977 and this general area here is where we've done our research well since back to 1977 and this ridge that is on the southwest side of the Llanos and the creek that runs down there which is called Zapatero Canyon. Uh, this is absolutely critical to provide microclimatic wind storm protection to the butterflies which are down here. Uh, and in the last two years, and in fact in the last year, the illegal loggers coming up from the town of Sengio, which is behind me, maybe three or four miles, They've come up here in violation of the core zone of the Biosphere Reserve. And as you can see, they have taken all the big trees off this big ridge. And the piles of brush that we see all over the place here uh, <clears throat> will be picked up by people. Now, some people say that, you know, it's good to clean up the trash, but this trash would not be here were the trees not cut down. This is atrocious, it's evil, it's sinful, and it's a disaster for the monarch butterflies.